uh, Demi in New Jersey. Demi, you're talking to Eric and Jamie. How are you doing? How are you? Hello. 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 Can yes, we. Me? Yes, mm-hmm. we can. What would you like to talk about today? Oh, hi, hi, Eric, hi, Jamie. Hello. Hi. What did you want to talk about um, today? Uh, I don't know if you guys remember me. Um, I called into your show before. It was a while ago, though. But um, I don't even know if I should talk about it now. Like, you guys have been pissed off enough. No, no, that's okay. Hey, People Eric. like seeing us pissed off. What's up? <laughs> and, and and my condolences about your cat, um, Jamie. Thank you. I lost my guinea pig recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sad too. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Mm-hmm. It makes me think of my guinea yeah. pig, Max. Yeah, no, we all love her for Yeah, babies. I miss okay. my guinea pig, Jesse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so, so, um. I've called him before. Remember, I was. Uh, do you guys remember? I don't know if you do. Let's I, Demi, not, let's let's start from the beginning because I know that there are mm-hmm. people watching this who definitely haven't seen it. So let's get a quick primer okay. and uh, maybe see what we're adding to it. Okay, so I I I, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness because my family was most Jehovah's Witness and and Catholic. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, yeah, I've been really conflicted about the whole God thing, and but I, I, I'm not confused about religion. I don't like religion, but I've been so conflicted about God and about do I have the soul? And I called that. I called because I was really like, I was really like confused about that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you guys were talking to me about that. Yeah, but anyway, about the soul they, in a long time. Yeah. So. Anyway, um, oh, go ahead. So what I was going to say is, um, if you think about uh, why people believe in gods and right and where that message is carried on, it's carried on through religion and religious traditions. And one of the positions I know that Eric and I share. Uh, that's not that hard to guess, is that that's, they don't do that well, right? Like they, they've uh, not succeeded. They failed in, in supplying sufficient reason to believe in a god. And one of the yeah. questions that uh, many religions uh, attempt to answer is, you know, what happens after we die? What is the, the essence of a human being? And they posit the answer, a soul. Um, but you have your doubts about religion, and presumably that goes with specific religious teachings. But the question of what happens after we die, do we have an essential essence other than just a physical body that makes us up, remains. Yeah. And you have an answer that, admittedly, if you're not a big fan of religions and what they say and what they posit, you don't necessarily have a, you don't have a good answer for. But you have a yeah. bad answer for it, and that's the only answer we have. And right now, we don't have a good answer. And it's hard to walk away from a bad answer and find yourself with no answer. And so I feel like that's where you're at. Yeah, having although, a place to land helps, definitely. Having a place to land helps. Um, yeah. um, although, but, but, particularly with the soul specifically, but, um, we Demi, know enough to, to doubt. That's why you called the last time. Yeah, that's why I called last. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were. <laughs> yeah. I was. I didn't want to interrupt Jamie, but I was like, "Dude, oh, you're going on like yeah, a thing." Uh, um, and this is Jamie turning red. Um, uh, Demi. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you go through all that again. No, no, that's no, no, no. okay. Uh, we that's like we like talking for. about it. Yeah. Um, what? So so how? I, I mean, anyway. I'm assuming existential crisis, but I'm I'm not going to. That was a recap. Yeah. But where are you now? But, but, where am I now? Oh boy. Uh, you were um, recapping. I can tell you what it says in the notes about what you want I'm, to talk about, but I'm really, conf- I'm really conflicted about. I'm really conflicted about um, some things. Okay. Um, God, uh, God, and demons. Mm, okay. Things like that. Thing. Supernatural thing. What is because I've had I 
What is this conflict? Is this a, yeah. I believe it and I'm upset and worried and I'm battling demons? Or is this a, um, it's something that I believed and now I don't have reason for? Like, how, help me out. No, I, I need a little bit more information. Okay. Okay. Recently, I had, I had a very scary um, experience. And um, I, I basically, I basically have been. It was so. It was so scary that it knocked me off my feet. Okay. And, and what was it? I fell backwards. I. Take take your time. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound really crazy. And well. and I and I have a therapist, and she told me that I'm not schizophrenic. So please don't think I'm crazy. No, I mean, we, we just talked earlier this episode about how um, yeah. hallucinations and mental breaks happen to everybody. Yeah. Um, so could we actually, I, could we say that you yeah, experienced I, a potential hallucination or mental break that you might be chalking up to being the existence of demons or the supernatural? Well, this is what I'm being told, that I'm literally, I'm literally being told by, by everyone around me that the demons are fucking with me. Yeah, I, I I absolutely get it. Um, so and that scares the shit out of me. It absolutely does. It empowers and enables um, just horrible shit when, I, especially when it comes to our mental health. Yeah. Um, and you know the funny thing is, I, I I I there's this Facebook meme I saw, and I'm sure everybody's seen it. And it's um, I'm not superstitious until it's dark and I'm alone. <laughs> And then I'm a little stitious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know it. You know I'm not not super stitious. I'm a little stitious. Yeah. Um, There's nothing know, wrong with being afraid of the dark. Yeah. It 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 has. Um, it does have this this primal impact on us and trying to reason yourself out. Yeah. You know you can hold on to those reasons and eventually over time it helps. But when you're in the moment, especially when you're being told that oh my gosh there are demons. Uh, Demi, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Um, and, and, I'm, have, and I'm literally, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I didn't talk to you. I'm sorry. I, I literally, like, do, my family wants me to seek, like, spiritual counsel. And that they, they want me to pray. And, and they want me to talk to the elders. And my Catholic family wants me to come to their church. And they want me to go whatever. Yeah. Hello? Oh, no. We lost her. We lost her. So I, um, so I think that we, we can still answer the question, even though she's yeah. not on right now. Um, One of the things in the notes that I was hoping that we would get to mm -hmm. is uh, depression and that you have mm -hmm. this kind of one-two punch of saying, okay, you're having an issue um, and once you start going through this crisis, well, that crisis is actually more demons and it is so detrimental and working your way back from that trauma is going to take a very long time. But if you are experiencing depression, if you are having trouble, you know, determining what is tr what is real and what is not real as far as hallucinations are concerned, get help. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. It just means you would take your car to get a tune-up. So why wouldn't you take yourself? You would go to the doctor. What, what, what would you really tell somebody that's diabetic? Oh, well, I really don't think you should be taking that insulin. What if you get addicted I, to am it? Am I back yet? Yes, yeah, you oh, are. There you are. Hey. Hey. Sorry, I, I... Hi, I'm sorry, we got disconnected. That's fine. How much of what uh, Eric was just saying did you catch? Oh, none of it. Okay, oh, so right. He, he wanted to address uh, depression. Here, I'll do a quick recap for you. He wanted to address I, depression and I, how it's... I actually have depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. And this is really like... I'm in a lot of mental anguish and pain. And this is just... It's like, it's crushing me. Please, Demi, call Recovering From Religion. 
check out the Hotline Project and please, please, the Secular Therapy Project. They can help you, put you in touch with a, a therapist if you don't have one. Um, if you do have one, make sure that you're making those appointments. Make sure that you're caught up on your meds. And um, the fact is, even if demons existed, that advice still holds. There's no reason not to. It's not one or the other. Take care of yourself, okay? Please do. I'm so sorry you're dealing with even. I'm afraid to even bring it up to my therapist because what if she what if she agrees? So if that's the case, right? Um, then you need then it's actually a really good thing to find out because then you can get a new therapist. Um, mm. But holding that in, look, um, there there are lots of things you know, lots of different aspects of my life. But there is nothing that doesn't go to my therapist. Um, their job is to help you. And okay. the best way to do that is to be honest with them, to talk to them and be open because it's the only way that you're going to be able to get help from them for it. Please do. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me again. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you called in and big, big hugs. We have an amazing community on Discord. Please give it a shout. Uh, check it out because there are people that you can talk to and I, I do know that it is a really big help. So check out our Discord. Uh, the producers are sending you love rings right now. Mm-hmm. Big hugs. Thank you for Thank calling. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody.